In early 2016, we were contacted by who later turned out to be an absolutely wonderful, amazing, sweet couple about their wedding in Jamaica later that year in 2016. After initial negotiations and working out the details, we happily accepted. Anytime a destination wedding is thrown our way, we're happy to go, we're travelers, this is what this channel is about, we are going somewhere. Now when we look back at that trip, we have nothing but wonderful yeah. memories. It was absolutely amazing and so much fun. But there was one moment that was extremely risky and highly irresponsible. And that is what I'm going to talk about today. In October of 2016, we were in the middle of the first vlogging season. So the camera was on most of the time. I felt like I had to shoot everything. Actually, whenever you're doing something like a reportage, you want to have the camera on as much as possible because you never know when something is going to happen. So I recorded the entire trip to the island, which wasn't really that exciting. There was one big question at the very beginning of it. We're actually not sure if we're flying anywhere today because Hurricane Matthew hasn't calmed down yet. But we're going to the airport and we're about to find out. And then there was the regular airport stuff and really pretty views from the airplane. It's a beautiful, gorgeous day here in Baltimore. Kind of hard to believe there's a raging, crazy hurricane only about four hours of flight away from us. When we landed, the first impression is the music. We're on the bus. Yeah, man, so if you guys have any questions, please feel free to ask, no problem. But just sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. Yeah, man? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. The culture of Bob Marley and his heritage is very alive in Jamaica today. Basically everywhere you go, you can hear his songs being played from somewhere. Starting at the airport, in the van that was driving us to the resort, at the resort itself, Bob Marley is everywhere. I guess that's for a good reason, it puts you in the local mood, it makes, you, it makes your experience more real and more authentic. On the way to the resort, we started seeing the real Jamaica through the windows of the van that we were being driven in, and that in itself was fascinating already. We already had a feeling that we're exploring new land where we haven't gone before. The first indication of the exciting things to come was when we talked to the bride at the lobby on that very day when we arrived to the resort. Uh, How are you? Hi, I'm good. I'm sorry. Guess her. Everyone's coming oh, in. Oh, absolutely. How are you? You can hear her in this very clip actually repeating at that time her invitation to go with the group to the place called Rick's Cafe. But for the excursion tomorrow, uh, if you guys are still interested in coming, oh, at 9.15, uh, the plan is to meet here in the lobby, leave by 9.30. Sounds pretty innocent, right? Rick's Cafe, just like a regular place where you go to eat and hang out with friends and have a drink or two, what kind of a dangerous activity can possibly be happening at Rick's Cafe? Every, all crazy. of my family is like, you're crazy, no, no. don't do it, but I'm like, eh, you know, <laughs> what in Rome. Yeah, watch everybody else and if it seems safe. Yeah, my sister-in-law did it a couple years ago and she apparently got a huge bruise on her leg. Well, as it turns out, if you're looking for real thrills that perhaps you haven't experienced before, Rick's Cafe is definitely the place to go. But let's get back to the first day. At the end of that day, we found ourselves at a place that, exactly as I described in this very clip here, was really hard not to like. It's really hard not to like this place. This is the view from the balcony of our resort room. And at that point, there was absolutely no signs of what was going to happen within the next 24 hours and how dangerous it could be. The day that I really want to tell you about started very nice. We went with the whole group. It was an organized trip, so 
once you get on the bus in the morning you kind of really have to go with the plan and there is no possibility of veering off or changing the schedule or going somewhere on your own and leaving the group that's just how it works so the beginning of the day was super nice we went to this gorgeous location called margaritaville The second stop on the agenda was the before mentioned Rick's Cafe. This was wonderful time on the beach at the Margaritaville and now it's time to move to Rick's Cafe and check out this cliff where everybody's jumping off into the water, maybe even myself. And we heard about it before, it was the place where you can jump off a cliff into the water. But when you're thinking about something like this, and the masses of tourists that come to that place you're just visualizing something maybe you know a couple feet off the rock where nothing dangerous can possibly happen well it turns out that there are accidents the viral videos are just about everywhere from every place videos of cliff jumping which left more than two dozen people dead last year in the united states but the sheer impact of jumping off of cliffs that high can be like slamming into concrete is that stopping anyone from jumping you answered that yourself let's go david all right bonnie i'm doing it oh, really yeah <laughs> I can do it. So when we arrived to Rick's Cafe and started filming everybody else jumping from the ground, from the lower point, it looked easy, it looked entertaining and it didn't look that scary at all. This new GoPro 5 is supposed to be waterproof without the case. So now we're gonna test if it is. I'm going. <laughs> People are getting to the designated spot. There's a guy or two guys telling them exactly what to do. You push off that little platform that they have and you plunge into the water. If you can swim, you should be all right. What can possibly go wrong, right? Where's Dina? All right, we're gonna put, we gotta read this warning board first. You see this box beside it here? We're gonna fill it up with some tips, all right? Lani, being the smart one in this relationship, said right away that she's not doing it. It looks way too scary, it's too dangerous. And she was right. Oh, I, didn't get her. I, for a change, the natural born daredevil, not really, I said I would do it. It feels like you're just floating for a lot longer. Oh man. You're waiting for the water and it hits and you're like, oh. Is it scary? All right, my turn. Let's go, David. Of course, completely without realizing what I'm really getting myself into. All right, this is pretty crazy. This seems pretty high. Yeah. So just uh, try to understand the gravity of this situation. I already said I'm doing it. Girls were jumping. When I got to the actual platform, you can start seeing something in my face that doesn't look so courageous anymore. I think yeah. we gotta read this warning board first. You see this box beside it here? That was the very moment when I realized that perhaps I shouldn't be doing this. This seems pretty high. Yeah. Closer to the edge like you. The guy even warned me that I'm gonna drop the GoPro when I jump. And I said, oh no, I'm not. I'm confident I can hold on to it. Don't worry about that. Listen up. It's 
you jump, you gotta hold on to that very tight. I know. Because you will lose it. And if you lose it, I'm charging 50 bucks to go find it. <laughs> the feelings inside me at that point were how stupid and lame am I gonna look if I just back off right now? Okay, so you're gonna put your left foot closer to the edge like you. Yeah, you don't stand so wide, man. Put your foot a little bit closer. No, if you good. wanna make a smart, go for it. See all these people looking at me right there on the ledge? At that point, we still had a few days with that wedding party, shooting a bunch of events for them. I didn't want to be the lame David. Believe it or not, that in itself, that pressure, all these people standing there just looking at you, no matter how forgiving and cool they could be afterwards, is enough to actually push you over the edge. All right, here we go. Step up. I of course did let go of the GoPro and here's a pretty amazing moment. Look at how the camera falls down to the bottom of this little area where the jumps were taking place. When it stops falling it's looking perfectly up so you can actually see myself swimming and trying to dive for it and retrieve it right away. It was way too deep for me to dive and get it. At some point you can even see an amoeba swimming right next to the lens and some other stuff that was in the water at that time. The GoPro survived, it really is waterproof and it did very well. It kept recording all this time until the moment when one of the local guys jumped in and got it for me. It wasn't cheap, okay? I ended up having to pay for it. But there was no way I was losing that footage. Notice the first thing I'm saying when he hands me the camera back. There we go, it's still recording! Yeah, man. Yeah! That day ended with an amazing sunset over the island. We of course filmed as much of it as possible. So here's some of that for your enjoyment and to cool down the emotions. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed the cliff jumping story. We'll come back tomorrow. Smash subscribe. Good night. You wanna be on camera? Do you wanna be on camera? We're gonna put it on Facebook. Yeah. Yeah. YouTube. Why you put it on YouTube? I can see it. Yeah. You if you put it, it on YouTube. Yeah. yeah? I have my phone here and I go to YouTube all the time. Yeah? Yeah. What do you put on YouTube? But I don't put nothing, I just like to see. Oh, okay. What's on YouTube. You can see? I check it all the time.